Well, let me say that we appreciate you all coming to you know, watch our players work. Uh, these players have done a fantastic job for us over the three or four years that they've been here, and uh, it benefits them and our program that they do extremely well in uh, times like these so that they get the opportunity to play at the next level uh, and get drafted as high as possible. So we're hopeful that each one of those guys will be able to represent themselves in a way that uh, will allow them to do that. What's the most important thing, Nick, on a day like today after a combine, you think, for players? Well, I, I think it's just an opportunity to for a player to be able to work out uh, in a more intimate environment and maybe a more relaxed environment. Uh, I think the combine can be a little bit uh, overwhelming and intimidating in some ways because there's so much going on and so many things uh, happening in terms of the multitude of interviews that you have and medicals and physical test and all those things we're here it's a little bit more relaxed and you know we'll have another pro day on March 29th which will be three weeks from now where um, we always like to have a second day so that players all can prepare for that uh, it helps some of our injured guys like you know it did Eddie Lacy a few years ago and it will Eddie Jackson this year that they'll be more ready to uh, be them all their old selves relative to the injuries that they're they're overcoming. So uh, I think just be themselves and perform well. I think a lot of the guys that we have are really good players, and uh, I think that's really what they need to do. What kind of future do you think Ryan Anderson has in the NFL? Excuse me. What kind of future do you think Ryan? Anderson? Well, I think Ryan Anderson's a really good player, and he's the kind of player that uh, because he's got a lot of diversity as a player uh, in terms of um, being able to rush. Uh, he can play stack back or he can play outside backer. So, uh, and in a lot of systems and a lot of schemes right now, based on the way offensive football is in the NFL, uh, you need guys like that that have that kind of diversity. So, uh, I think he's got a really good future, and I think he's done well here today. Have you had a chance to talk to, uh, to Ruben about what happened at the combine? I absolutely have. And uh, look, Ruben's been a great player for us here. We've never had any issues with Ruben, um, and I think that you know. When you ask someone, if anybody here asks someone eight or ten times, am I in the right place? Is my name on the list? Why have I had to stay here for so long? Uh, and nobody will respond to you. I think it would probably um, create a little anxiety for all of us. Uh, and I know that Ruben wishes that he would have responded uh, maybe in a little more positive way. But I think other people could have responded and been a little more respectful to him as well. As an NFL, former NFL coach yourself, how much do you think it helps Ruben uh, to come here, talk to a lot of teams last night all at once and kind of hit this thing, uh, kind of get out in front of it? Well, I, I think that anybody that thinks what happened at Indy should affect this guy's future in the draft is being very short-sighted. Uh, I mean, he's played here for four years. We've never had issue with him. He's always been a great leader. He's a signal caller on defense. He's bright. Uh, and, you know, he's always been a great team guy and really well liked by his teammates. So if you're looking for a good uh, teammate to be on your team, uh, Ruben's going to be very, very good. If you're looking for somebody to be a candy striper and be nice to everybody at the hospital, maybe not. <laughs> what can uh, Brian Dable bring to the staff, your new offensive coordinator? I'm sorry? What does Brian Dable bring to the staff, your new offensive coordinator? Well, Brian's got a lot of experience. You know, he's coached 11 years with the Patriots. He's six years uh, an NFL uh, offensive coordinator, coached with us at Michigan State. So I think he's got a lot of the knowledge and experience in the pro game, as uh, well as being a very bright guy that can learn uh, some of the things that we've done here relative to the spread and do what our players can do here. I know you're talking about Pete, Carol, Bill Belichick, but for you personally, is it when you have a day like this to kind of have some of these guys around as a good day to mingle with those guys and just catch up? Well, you all know, might not know that, but this, but we're all Croatians, so we kind of hang together, you know. <laughs> um, and we've been good friends for a long time and uh, talk a lot about a lot of things. And, you know, Bill's a mentor of mine. and. Uh, Bill Belichick and I worked for him for four years. I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. He's been very helpful to me in my career and uh, also in helping me formulate the processes that we use here that has helped us be successful. And most of you may not know this, but I took Pete Carroll's place as secondary coach at Ohio State way back when. Uh, so I've known Pete for a long, long time, and uh, we've always been defensive guys, and we've always discussed things. and. Um, I respect his opinion, and uh, I think he has a mutual respect for what we've been able to do, and um, it's, he's been helpful to me as well.
But who will the team get in OJ Howard? I'm sorry? Who will the team get in OJ Howard? Well, I, I think that, you know, tight end is kind of a unique position now in terms of how people use tight ends, and it's hard to find a guy that can play split out like a lot of people want to use their tight end, a guy that can play in the C area as a C area blocker, uh, and a guy that can play off the ball and, and do a lot of things that's more fullback like if uh, is what you would know from the old days of football. So to find a guy that can do all three of those things is really difficult and OJ is one of those guys that can do that. So uh, I think you're going to get a great receiver but you're also going to get a complete guy that can block well and uh, I think he's done really really well and how he's represented himself at the combine and in these workouts. Thanks, thank you.